Hi, this is Emily the Audi Nerd and tonight we're going to be taking a look at a 2022 Audi A4 45S line. So first of all, if you come a little bit over this way, we can start taking a look at some of the exterior. First of all, you're going to see these S line badging right here. That is the easiest way to tell if it is an A440 or if it is the A445 like this one because it'll have the S line badging on the exterior. And we optioned it with these 19 inch wheels with the Audi Sport right here by the valve stem. They have done this design of wheel before on the A4, however, they haven't done it in this really cool two-tone finish where it's this bright silver and then kind of more of the machined duller darker silver right here. So now let's go around the front and take a look over there. Now at the front of the A4, first thing you'll notice it does have the honeycomb grill and this one was optioned with the aloe optics package so it does not have black optics. It's got the silver trim all the way around including the rings and badges which is my favorite. I really like the silver rings and badges. It's a classic for Audi. If you come a little bit closer here you can see the forward facing camera for your full 360 surround when you use the vehicle in reverse. Now backing up a little bit, you can see the four proximity sensors. There's one over there with also the laser radar sensor from that side or the LIDAR sensor. Then coming along this way, there's your other two for the full front and then another one on the side and your other LIDAR sensor right here. Coming up to the headlights, they have what's called the eyelash design where it's kind of got looks like eyelashes. On the prestige trim, it actually has the animation, but since this is the premium plus, it does not have animation. A couple other things you get with the A445 S line is these upgraded front bumper here, the rear bumper on the back side, and then these more aggressive side skirts. And if the vehicle has the black optics package, these side skirts will be in black. Now if you come in a little bit this way, we can take another closer look at something that Audi hasn't been doing for that long. However, it gives it a totally sporty feel, more aerodynamic, and you may be wondering, what are we looking at? The mirrors. The mirrors are mounted on the door, which is actually a big deal because this gives it more aerodynamics, as I mentioned, gives a total sportier feel, and it kind of like when you put the whole package together, it just looks right. Coming along to the back side of the A4, you'll notice the taillights also have that eyelash design just like the headlights. And then on this back aggressive bumper, it does have this aggressive back here diffuser with the silver accents and real exhaust tailpipes. They are not the fake ones that were on the B9 generation. They're fully piped through, fully dimensional, right all the way into here. As you can see from this angle, I love how the Daytona gray looks with the aloe optics and the silver rings and badges. Such a classic look and totally Audi. So now, as you back up, I'm going to demonstrate how you do the kick to release on the tailgate. So if you kick to right here and back up, and just like that, it opens up for you. So now, since the A4 is a sedan, it does have a little bit less cargo space than some of the SUVs we've been doing recently. It does have 12 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up. That's a ton of room. You can fit several clubs of golf. You can fit um, tons of carry-on bags. There's tons of room back here. As you can tell, I don't play golf. I call it clubs of golf. Oh, well. Now with the seats down, if you come in a little closer, you can actually see there's still tons of space in here. You can haul long things, tall things. There's tons of versatility with having the seats going up and down. One of the other features that is totally German and totally Audi is this cargo hook right here where you can put your grocery bags or anything you want to hook to main stabilize back here in the back trunk. The big idea with that is that it can swing on no matter how fast you're going, how slow you're going around corners, and that way it won't actually bash into anything inside the trunk. Before we head in the interior of the A4, I wanted to highlight something that's also usually overlooked, similar to the mirrors on the doors. So coming along this way, this vehicle does have the full keyless entry system, where if you want to lock the vehicle, simply touch right here. To unlock, insert your hand inside the handle. However, do not touch the lock at the same time. That will confuse it and it will not work. It does it on the back door, which we saw here. And if we move to the front side as well, notice touch to lock, hand in to unlock. So hopping in the back seat here, you know the drill. The front seat has been adjusted for my husband, who's a little over six foot. I'm five, five and three quarters. And this is how I fit back here. I have at least five inches of leg room in front of my knees. And I have hmm, two or three inches on top of my head. So there's still a bunch of room back here. I like it because it's ever so slightly reclined back. So I feel like I have a ton of room. On some sedans, I feel like I sit so far straight up and down where it's not gonna be comfortable on a long ride. I feel like I'd be very comfortable back here. I'm just kind of chilling out. First look inside the interior of the A445 S line, you'll notice it's got this suede right here. And this is special because it has the S line interior package. The S line interior package gives you some really cool things, just like these S line door sills right here, gives it these exclusive inlays and some other features on the seat. We'll show you here in just a bit. With the S-Line interior package, you get the S-Line sport seats, which have the S embossing right here on the top of the seat. The cool part about that is you still get the adjustable headrest, which we've demoed in some other videos, that can be adjusted all the way out, 
or pushed in at any different height for your comfort. Now, the rest of the seat has the suede down here with the texture on it, but it also does have the adjustable leg extension. Awesome for long rides, especially if you have longer legs or sciatica problems. Now, in the interior of the A445S line, you'll notice it does have Audi's standard interior with the full digital cluster up here. This one was optioned without navigation. However, Audi has started something really cool where you can purchase the navigation license on a month-to-month -month subscription or you can purchase it for a, a recurring lifetime subscription. The cool thing with that is if you're going on long vacations or maybe going around hiking somewhere and you want to have the built-in navigation because you're worried about having cell phone reception, you can pay for it for a short amount of time. That way you don't have to have the larger charge up front when you're buying the vehicle. Another cool thing you get with the S-Line interior package is you get the air leather S steering wheel from the S4. Pretty cool that you can get that on the, eight, on the regular A4. Now moving up this way, you can see I'll demonstrate some of the buttons here. You've got your heated steering wheel located right here, your driver control for the skipping of tracks and the volume button to answer your phone, to talk to the car, your view button for up here, so if you wanted to make the dials large or small, and then you can adjust anything you want to have in the center. You can adjust even the different things that you are looking at, including consumption and driver assistance features. Moving on to the center screen here, this is all fully touched, so you can run it all just like that. It has the haptic feedback too, so you can feel that you're really touching it. So moving back to home, we've got radio, media, phone, navigation, and this is where it'll say it doesn't have it purchased currently, but that is something that you can buy on a month-to-month -month or subscription basis as I talked about earlier. And then if you go here, you can have all of your different favorites. So if you had favorite radio stations, your favorite telephone stuff, or in the additional navigation stuff as well. Phone apps is where your wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto would live. You can connect to it right here, and then you would walk through the simple steps, which is a pretty simple integration. Now just a quick demo of the climate controls. Everything is run by individual dials. If you notice, they are synced right now as they are doing the exact same thing, but that is controlled here. You can have them set as three zone, so each one is individual including the rear, or you can have them all synced. And then if you scroll all the way down, you can set the rear temperature. So I can go in and actually set what the rear temperature is feeling all the way from the front of the cabin. All A4s come standard with the full sunroof up here, which is fully functional, tilting and opening. I had mentioned earlier in the video the full 360 camera. Now, if you want to access the video, even when you're not in reverse, you can press that right here and come all the way up. And this is your full 360 review. You'll see that right here. There's my tripod. And then you can slide all the way over to have all of the different views you want. You can have the larger view right here if you want, or just the front two for when you're parking, or the back two. The A445S line has 261 horsepower with 275 foot-pound of torque. It goes from 0 to 60 in just 5.2 seconds. Another really cool thing about the A4 is it's only offered in all-wheel drive, where both the BMW and the Mercedes are offered standard at that base price in rear-wheel drive, and you have to add a substantial amount to get their all-wheel drive system. The A445 is a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged engine with a dual-clutch automatic transmission. The really cool thing about the A4 is that it is extremely fuel efficient compared to its competitors. It gets a combined fuel economy of 27 mpg, 24 in the city and a full 31 on the highway. As you can see, the A4 truly is an Audi sedan. It's a compelling offering of performance, luxury, and efficiency. I will be doing a head-to-head -head of the Audi A445 S line and the A440, so be on the lookout for that one. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun making this for you. If you have any other suggestions of videos you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.